Welcome to Camp Crab Hike Survive. I'm Patrick. We're going to be doing some winter camping today. As you can see, blowing and snowing. Uh, temperature forecast for tonight is negative 8 with a uh, negative 35 degree wind chill. I'm going to try out a hot tent to see how it goes. All right, got out to my spot. Tell you what, it is cold in that wind. Uh, I'm going to get a fire going here and uh, try to warm up. And uh, then I'm going to get my tent set up and uh, get a fire going in the stove to get it warm. So today, I'm not messing around. Whoop, there goes my bag. Today, I'm not messing around. I'm just going to use uh, cotton balls to light this fire. Nothing special. I mean, if you feel like it, you can fight the cold and uh, spend your energy starting a uh, friction fire or flint and steel or whatever you choose. Just going to use a big lighter. Nice and easy. If your life depended on it, you don't want to mess around with any ignition methods that you can burn your energy. With this, it's simple, it's quick. Everything's damp with this snow. It's not terrible, but the snow just started this morning. It's been going for a couple hours now. And there's really no sign of letting up. They're actually starting to go. Hey, all right.
don't know how well the camera can see that, but got some icicles going on here in my beard. All right, so technical difficulties. <laughs> Apparently when your cell phone gets too cold, it shuts off. So I'm not gonna have much for video on this uh, overnighter, but she's up. Let me get some light here. She's up, she's going. And it is nice and toasty inside of there. But I took a break eating some soup and then I'm probably going to uh, get inside of there get my bedding all set up after I cut more firewood. Won't be doing much filming tonight in the morning. Gonna make some breakfast in a uh, cold handle. Gonna make some breakfast in a cold handle skillet on top of that hot stove in there. <coughs> we'll see how that goes. Again, sorry for the uh, poor video doing what I can in this cold weather. But I'm out here, and that's what matters. I'm uh, in the hot tent for the night. Didn't do much filming today. It was just way too cold. My phone shut off on me probably three times because it got too cold. So, all my gear. Boots, stove's going, got a water bottle on there getting warm so that when the uh, bottle inside of my sleeping bag isn't quite warm anymore I can just swap them out. 
And that way it keeps my water from freezing too. Got bacon and eggs for breakfast. We'll see if I'm up to cooking in the morning. So, yeah, I'm gonna call it a night. It's still early, it's about 8.30. I'm gonna watch this thing and kind of get an idea how long uh, I have before I have to fill it back up. All right, y'all, see you in the morning. Well, guys, I survived the night. It got down to negative nine degrees with a negative 39 degree wind chill. I'm gonna cook up some breakfast. It is about 4.59 a.m. Yeah, uh, not gonna lie, last night sucked. So last night to stay warm, I put a couple of warm water bottles inside of my sleeping bag. I used a combination of a Teton Sports zero degree bag with my Pathfinder queen size wool blanket on top and tucked under me. And I, <coughs> I stayed pretty warm and even my feet stayed warm surprisingly. This, uh, this hot tent did its job. It definitely was not warm in here by any means. But this little stove and this tent kept the temperature to a survivable level. A little bacon and eggs this morning. Cold handle skillet. I didn't get much video undone because my phone is what I use to record with and uh, it just it wasn't having it. The cold. It was just uh, it was just way too cold. It kept shutting off on me, even though my battery was charged. Um, the uh, when I plugged it in to charge it, because I thought it was dead, I noticed a little uh, temperature thermometer symbol on there, and I guess it was telling me that it was way too cold, and it shut itself off. So I'll see what I can do. I look at this. My knees are steaming. this tent and actually tearing down. This wind is brutal. There's something else. I'll tell you what. There's some bacon in here for the egg. simple breakfast. Bacon and eggs. Oh, 
Oh man, that, that hits the spot. Hopefully this will give me <clears throat> some energy to get my butt out of here and walk back to the house. Tell you what, cold winter, cold weather camping is definitely not for the faint of heart. And you have to make all the right preparations. Otherwise, your uh, adventure could be fatal. Because, <clears throat> like I said, got down to negative nine at I don't know, about two o'clock this morning and the wind chill was negative 39 okay guys I didn't get any filming done of my teardown process um, it was just way too cold my phone kept shutting off again as soon as I got outside and just did not allow me to get any decent footage. <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am recording this back home now, and I can assure you the walk back home was not very pleasant. Uh, even though I had uh, wool fingerless gloves and I had insulated Carhartt leather gloves, I felt like my fingers were borderline frostbitten. This trip is making me rethink my gear selection. Uh, I definitely need some better winter gloves. Um, and definitely a better jacket. Um, I was wearing a Helicon Tex uh, Honorock. I mean, it did its job. I had multiple layers underneath of it, but something better would have... Uh, something better would have been smarter in this situation. <clears throat>